have an HND in dental technology. Even if I actually get a job, I, I will just be stagnant at that position. In equipment we use, I have yeah. never seen such in Nigeria. Like, are I'm you like, serious? Yes. I'm wow. like, I don't what understand. What are their names? Hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adi and i am a second year medical student currently studying in the philippines if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting my growing youtube family i am very grateful and if you've not subscribed yet please consider subscribing i basically make videos about life in medical school life as a nigerian living in the philippines i also make very interesting vlogs so please smash the subscribe button today we have a very important or a special <laughs> guest i'll just let her you know introduce herself my name is deborah i am also a student here i am studying dentistry okay so keep watching all right guys so today i just felt i actually made a video on i don't know if you guys have seen that video i made a video where i shared about why i left nigeria to study medicine in the philippines and i also feel like people's experiences or people's reasons are unique to them so that's why i invited deborah to also you know share her own personal experiences so that's what today's interview is going to be about okay so without wasting much of your time let's just jump right into the video and the first question i'll be asking you actually have a first degree yeah, right I do. what degree is that first degree in um, I have an HND in dental technology. Dental technology. Yeah. What's dental technology about, like, basically? Um, I think when I came over here, I started hearing dental technicians, so they, they prefer to call us dental technicians. It's just the technical part of dentistry, like, you know, making of... Um, just where you have to use your skill. It's not like normal um, preventive dentistry that you just use instruments to remove whatever it is but in this one your skill will be tested so it's all about skill oh okay yeah. okay so the the dental technology what school did you study in nigeria and how many years was the dental technology okay i studied at um federal college of dental technology in nigeria in enugu precisely so and it's a four-year course yeah four years four years after the four years do you guys like get to is it like a bachelor's? What kind of program is it? It's um, HND. Like at the end, they will give you HND. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like bachelor's no. program. No. Okay. So like, how did you hear about the Philippines? Basically, how did you hear about it? Because for me, how I heard about Philippines, I was actually it was through someone. I heard about it through someone when I was actually considering going back to school. Mm -hmm. So for you. Did you know about this place before now or like someone told you about it no i didn't know about philippines I, okay i actually knew about philippines from their movies ah. I mean, <laughs> for, yes. really yeah i really love filipino movies so that was how i actually knew about philippines but not for studies so when i had to know about um philippines for study is um when i started considering how to add more value to what i had before so, yeah yeah so i had to hear uh, get to know about philippines from a friend yeah okay a friend was yeah, it a friend that knows a friend in oh this place. Yeah. see connection <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah you mentioned something about adding value which i think is very important because mm -hmm. now with this your hate with the first degree you already have which is hnd mm -hmm. like i just feel like hnd i'm not saying that hnd is not great but I just feel like HND is going to be like limited, basically, mm. like working in hospitals. Mm. You, obviously, you may not be earning the same amount with yeah. someone who went back to school to study dentistry. So it's actually um, a good thing. So heading to the next question, I'll be asking like, why did you choose um, to study Philipp in, here in Philippines? Why didn't you like go back to um, maybe dental dentistry school or a medical school in Nigeria? Why Philippines? Okay, um, first off, I made inquiries about the school I wanted to study. I browsed about it. I think as I then they were among the top 10 schools wow. here in the Philippines. So I made my research well. And again, considering the limitations I had in the previous one, so there was no, it's not like there are no chances, but the chances are very low. 
like where you can work and maybe even in the future you want to peradventure you get the job and you want to like in my country they promote you based on your qualifications so even if I actually get a job, I, I will just be stagnant at that position mm -hmm. unless I upgrade. So I thought about it and I said there's no point wasting much time. So when I heard about it, I just had to, you know, come yeah. here. Okay. Um, how about the admission processing? Was it quite difficult? How was the admission processing for you? How did you go about um, applying here? Okay, um, I think that was also the one that gave me a go ahead because initially I was, I didn't have much zeal. But when it was time for me to get admitted, the thing did not even take time. Like it was so, I, I was asked to bring um, just few requirements. I think they the were just documents to, right like uh, the person that did for me just told me to bring my, send my transcripts. I think that was, oh, that was the first process. Okay. So I was like, ah, ah in this world, there's a school. <laughs> yeah, I was like, in this world, there's a school that just like that. Because, you know, one thing we studying abroad is that what discourages me is the the requirements and everything the yeah, process yeah. so but when he told me that i should just get my transcript that that let's start from there i gave him the next thing is that i've been accepted they have accredited what what i was like is can this be real yeah, yeah. actually so, actually i just feel like getting admission in philippines is not as difficult yeah, as back not. home for example in medical school in nigeria like to get into medical school is sort of i don't know i don't know if this video is going to go up um, before the video I made about comparing medical school in Nigeria and Philippines mm -hmm. like it's so tough especially dentistry I don't yeah. even know I think if, if dentistry is even more tougher yeah. in I don't know in my own opinion it's really really tough like getting into the school you know the exams you take you take jam take post jam and yeah. you have to pass the two if you fail any of them you have to wait again for another year so like getting into medical school in Nigeria is very difficult but very here difficult. Like in my own situation, when I applied, I just sent my transcript to my transcripts and my work and I think my international passport. That was just basically what I sent and I got the admission. Do you mm -hmm. get? So I think it's actually quite easier. Then heading to the, um, yeah, when you got the admission, was there any, are there any like entrance examination that is required when you came here? Did you write any entrance examination basically when you? finally came here okay as at when i came here mm -hmm. there was no such thing as entrance examination for my college that's dentistry college so mm -hmm. i don't know for now but as at then so there, there was, was no entrance yeah. examination all you did was to submit your to give your transcript yes. and you got your admitted wow yeah. wow yeah. that's actually interesting mm -hmm. so next question basically so comparing it to studies in nigeria what's like what do you think are the differences because you already mentioned you have a first degree in dental technology yeah. which yeah. is a hnd so during your studies in dental technology back in nigeria um what are the differences or the similarities would you say um between studying in nigeria and your experience studying here in philippines oh okay um i think the difference is quite much like the only similarity i would say relating to what i'm studying here now is that both of them both what i'm doing here and what i did back at home they are all teeth related but the phase i am right now the in equipment we use i have yeah. never seen such in nigeria like are I'm you like, serious yes i'm wow. like i don't what understand. are their names like like what? the typodonts we use here yeah the the teeth, the texture, everything. I'm like, no. I'm it's not. different from the ones you use yeah. during dental technology. Yeah, in my in the subject I did, the course I did back home, it's there's what we call stone model. Okay. We have cast. Yeah, we have the one of POP. So that was basically what we use in school back then. But I came here, I started seeing some sophisticated equipment and all that. So wow. maybe as I as I proceed, I might still meet some some of those instruments i used back home but at this stage the instruments or equipment we use the gadgets we use they are complicated kind of wow wow okay yeah, yeah i even forgot to ask you right like you already have your first degree right yeah. like did they evaluate your your transcript basically because medical uh, dentistry school here is six years yeah. um are you also going to do six years or were some years removed from do you get what i mean yes, like I yeah so yeah, that, I think that was the need for the transcripts. They had to go through the subjects I've already done. In Nigeria. Yeah, in Nigeria. Okay. So if it matched their criteria, then I will not have to reduce those subjects. 
again, again. Okay. so i think when they were done with the evaluation using the transcript i sent okay um they had to i think i had to there was a way they did it dentistry here is six years so but the with the evaluation they did for me i, I would just have to do it for five years oh okay. five yeah. years so what what level are you in now um, i just finished 300 levels. wow so this <laughs> is like a 40 year day yes i can't <laughs> wait oh, that's so nice okay so um i just want to ask again about like because for the past one year we've all been having online classes yeah. i just want to know like how have the online classes been how have you been managing or how do you think the teaching style has been compared to when um there was physical classes are there differences like what do you think okay. about the online classes right now well you know it's just new pandemic brought this new phase so for now being a first experience i wouldn't say it's that easy like okay. it, it has its challenges like you're not you, your teacher is not readily there for you to go to and be like i'm not cleared with this how do i do it and most times even when you send messages across there is not only your message that they have so by the time they attend to it it's kind of not like as all as, as like they as they not would when it was physical yes, classes yes so that attention and guidance is a challenge and again you know um, network connections yeah and all those stuffs yeah well i'm just hoping the online class is actually challenging from every for everyone yeah. it's mentally challenging emotionally challenging like yeah. it's really really challenging i'm just i'm just we're just hoping that because currently right now in philippines there is no school or no university is like allowed to start physical classes for yeah. now at, at this point i'm making this video but basically we're just hoping that at least by next academic year which will be starting around august yeah, is yeah. that the same for you guys uh, we were told uh, july tentatively oh so. july uh, we're just hoping that you know at least you know things may get back to normal even if it's like limited face to face because you know courses mm -hmm. like dentistry medicine yeah. i just feel like you really really need to do it physically it's not just about like online classes yeah. all right moving ahead like how are the exams scheduled for example in, for us in medicine we usually have um, we write monday assessments every week we write um assessments also we also write like um tests quiz like and then we also at the end of the, the the year we also write an exam called comprehensive exam is that the same um situation for mm, you guys i wouldn't say it's the same because for for us our semester was um demarcated into blocks okay so, okay so in first semester how is the exam in first semester yeah the exam like depending on the teacher like there were some um courses i offered subjects i offered the teachers um they they prefer daily quiz okay daily then for some that i did it was weekly weekly yeah okay so with assignments with and, assignments yeah. so they grade you based on your daily quizzes weekly quizzes do you guys like write like um a general exam at the end of the semester yeah we do we call it p1 p2 and p3 for each subject okay yeah. all right and then um i just want to ask you like genuinely speaking what are the challenges you face as a nigerian studying here okay i think first firstly one of the challenges was language okay yeah because some of us they speak english here quite yeah all right. because in our in our college actually um they teach us in english right yeah. they teach yeah. us in english so but that's what i'm saying like people's experiences are unique to them and we yeah. really need to you know talk about it um for her she's saying that she had language as a barrier as a challenge yeah. so are you, is it that they teach you guys in they speak english but most of the time so that they are um filipinas i be yeah will get what they say they mix it up with with um um uh, bisaya so if you don't get to learn some basic words uh, bisaya, words in bisaya you might not really get what they are saying so that was my first challenge then secondly was the the method of studying here here you cannot be lazy into your At all, like, like back <laughs> back home my studying pattern was like i can like me i can catch up under pressure i will be piling and piling just be doing assignments when it's like maybe two weeks to exam i will go and read but here you hey, cannot try you, try it, you, you cannot just try pack it. your bag and be going you home you cannot try you it like not, yeah so ah. coming here made me to sit up with my yeah. studies even when you don't have the zeal and motivation you have to motivate to read, yourself you have to read. <laughs> at least looking at your tuition for me i don't know my husband will say 
<laughs> like when she looks at her tuition because the when you convert it to naira yeah. it's really a lot of money so yeah. by the time you bring your school fees and look at it it's yeah. a lot motivation for you so. yeah really really i think the you really have to be on your feet here yeah. because you can get to write exam any day yeah. like they can give you quizzes tests exams any days so you have you have to be on your feet at all times yeah. for us in medical school we write exams every monday so everything you've done for the week the next monday you get to write the exam so i think this is something important people have to know sometimes they feel like oh people are abroad that it's abroad easy. Is, is easy huh, it's, not, it's easy. not easy at <laughs> all like I've experienced it. I can really yeah. say like it's not easy at all studying abroad, especially here in the Philippines. You have to be very serious with your studies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next question. Um actually I know Deborah. Deborah is actually my friend and she makes cakes. Um she makes cakes, meat pies, you know, she cooks yeah. food. Yeah. Like if you request like you want a certain kind of food, she can make food for you. So with this your side business, how are you able to, you know? cope with studies because i just feel school is, uh, is enough stress yeah. already so how are you able to balance the two okay like and are you able to like earn some like a reasonable amount of money that can at least sustain you for the month uh-huh, for real? <laughs> i'm not <laughs> i'm just growing like i just want to be doing something it's not like i've started seeing um, some money but how i combine these two is um like some of the blocks i had uh, we we can have classes monday tuesday thursday friday then okay. wednesday will be break then i also have weekends okay so i just have to plan myself with my timetable with my schedule in school so that's how i do it okay so basically when you're free yeah okay because one thing people really need to understand is that in philippines as a student you're not um legally expected to work you're not yeah. allowed to work so if you're coming here you actually need like a sponsor Very like big. what basically <laughs> students do like that like if you have a skill that you can convert to um, money for example she knows how to bake cakes she bakes cake when people have birthdays she bakes cake you know they pay them she, you can order food from her you know that's how you know people make money but like to go and get a job yeah. like a proper job it's not allowed here so if you're also considering studying abroad not just philippines basically studying abroad and you feel like you can also need some extra source of income is actually a good um, thing to actually do mm. so next question i actually want to ask you would you recommend um someone to come to philippines and why um i would on one condition okay if you know you have you have set your um sponsor like you have your sponsor you're very sure uh, because just like she said don't come here expecting to be doing nine hour uh, before hours the way they do it in most of the western com- no here you studied abroad till you face your studies yeah yes so if if i will advise someone to come here if you have your sponsor already yeah and again why i would advise someone to come here is i think i actually like their education system here they would drill you yeah. but it's just for you to learn yeah yeah they would drill you out of your comfort zone for you to learn exactly. so but if you are lazy to study <laughs> they don't come here <laughs> true like don't like they would eat to eat to drain like they would yeah. drain you per se sometimes i just feel like oh my god this is so sick. like you just feel like you can't go but the thing is do you know the funny thing is that medical school everywhere is also tough it's also mm. difficult it's not like they are just doing it to us here okay. it's like that everywhere so and then i think the next question i want to ask you like what's your advice to anyone who is considering to study dentistry um my advice is make sure that it's your passion because you know there's something with passion you want to keep pushing but if it's just maybe because you heard there is money in dentistry and you want to you want to come and do dentistry if they drill you the way they do us here you you will just change your mind <laughs> yeah you will change your mind but if it's your passion and it is what you really want yeah you can do it thank you very much for watching if you watch this points please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe um actually she's also a new youtuber i'm also going to link her youtube channel in the description box and also i'm going to like link it on the screen here please also subscribe and if you're in Cebu city also consider getting things from her she yeah. makes cakes yeah. meat pies you know yeah thank you very much deborah for you're coming welcome. to this channel thank you're you everyone welcome. for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.